My husband's got cystic fibrosis um, and part of that condition um, means that they struggle with fertility. So, um, well actually at first, when we first went to the doctors, um, we were told that we probably wouldn't be able to have children um, before they did any like, investigations or anything. We later found out that year that it might be a possibility with um, assisted fertility IVF. And that's where, it, that's where it started. He had issues with um, morphology and motility. Um, of, um, people with CF, different, very, different varying degrees of CF, but marked CF requires IV antibiotics every few months. They're quite powerful drugs and they do obviously affect sperm quality. So we did we tried to keep him off them for about six months, which we managed, and actually his, the diet actually really helped his health as well. But um, without those IVs and with um, doing this special fertility diet, it made a massive difference. When they took the second sample, the motility was really good and the morphology was much better as well. So it did make a, it definitely made a big difference. Unless you go through IVS, you can't possibly know what it's like. It's, it, it's emotionally exhausting. There's so many hurdles to get over in IVF. So your, your first one, you know, are you responding to the drugs? If you respond, that's amazing. Then you um, go for egg collection, are there any eggs? You come around from the anaesthetic and they tell you that there is, that's, and then it, that's a huge relief. Then you have to wait for a phone call the next day to find out if any are fertilised. That's a horrible phone call to have to wait for. Then you have to wait for a phone call the day after that to find out if any have carried on dividing normally. And then you have to wait whether three, you have day three embryos put back or day five blastocysts put back. You have to wait every day for a call to find out if they've continued then you have them put back, if you're lucky enough to have any left at the end of that to put back. And then you have to wait two weeks of hell and every day wondering if it's worked or not. One of my friends actually, who um, was going through IVF at the time, um, said that she'd had acupuncture with your good self and um, suggested that maybe after the first cycle which failed, suggested maybe I gave it a go. Um, and introduced me to you, and I'm in love with it now. So. <laughs> well, firstly, the second cycle worked, and I truly believe it was a lot of it was to do with the acupuncture that I had. Phoebe, my daughter, who is now well, she's going to be five in October. She's uh, incredible. But it makes you realise actually how strong they are. I think IVF babies. Also, for me. Um, because I have issues with anxiety and stuff, the acupuncture really helped me to relax, which is quite key when you're trying to conceive, and especially when going through IVF. Um, and also just having someone to talk to who kind of just listened and was non-judgmental and knew a lot about it, and that was just brilliant for me too.